The Inquisitor Spirit Seekers Podcast, Ship to Manet Prison, Bristol. According to the website, it's Britain's most haunted prison. It's early century, 17th century Britain. Building is now open for the public to spend their night in one of the historic cells, which, as Devon Live report says, were once inhabited by the some truly hardened criminals, including child killers, rapists, and notorious gangs, including the Grey Twins. Sometimes called Corn Hill, this form of prison in Shepton Manet was first opened sometime between 1625 AD, and it was Britain's oldest operating prison to it closed in 2013. According to an article on LondonLives.co, this 400-year-old correctical facility was built to comply with the 1610 A.D. Bridewell Act, which legislated that every country in England had such a prison house. At the time, it was called that men and women and children were all in, 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 incarcerated together in importantly dreadful conditions, where jailers profited by selling bro, booze to prisoners. Extension works in the early 19th century, including insulation of Fred Will for inmates sentenced to hard labour, According to writer Francis Disney in the 1992 book Ship to Manit Prison, second edition, 40 men would, would tread the wheel for many hours at a time. Punishment was recorded as causing hernias in, in some convicts. In 1930, the number of inmates had fallen. The prison was closed, but it was reopened in 1939 during the Second World War. It was used as a military prison and for storage important historical documents for the public record office in London. One book kept in prison was the legendary Doomsday Book, or Great Survey of England and Wales, completed in 1086 AD for William, King William the Conqueror. In the damp cells have offered those people who investigate ghosts and paranormal, according to the prison's website, overnight tours, sleepovers, let the light mated thrill seekers explore the old penetrity with ghost hunting equipment. That while those they exist, there's not a threat, threat of tangible, or verifiable, or measurable evidence suggests the phenomenon exists, notwithstanding ghost hunters' own imagination projected outwards. Many folk find it good fun being terrified out of their wits in the old building. Prison witnesses claim a ghost are said to reside in the formal building of vast and varied. For me, filmer, further provoking the ghost hunting community, they say cell doors are slammed shut for no reason and that ghostly figures move around the prison at night. While UK hunters, UK ghost hunters will no doubt be asking each other if they're brave enough to fight Spend the night locked up in the old prison, figuring how people survived and di- suffered and died. One can only hope that history lovers are also planning to experience how do you, they used to live. If you lie, live like a lion in their beds, you'll find a gritty, full sense of experience, sensory experience in the environment. To further remind you how good it, we have it in today's society, women and men and children all once squashed in these cells, sharing diseases, all sorts of social horrors, while many of today's inmates are provided with playstations, televisions, parts and books. Being there for a night will surely convince you that compared to 17th century prisons, today's prisons, UK have got it a little bit easier. most haunted prisons. Shepton Mallet was one of the oldest working prisons in the UK, as well as the highest walk prison. Originally built as a house of correction in 1625, this prison has a grim history. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the men, women and children who were imprisoned here existed in the most hideous of conditions, where they were left starving, in packed, smallpox infested cells. During the 1950s, it was a Category C life of prison, incarcerating the most cold-hearted and dangerous of criminals, including the notorious Grey Twins, after they deserted the British Army. 
brutal executions took place here, and it is thought that the former inmates lie in unmarked graves throughout the prison. When the building still operated as a prison, there are tales of officers who refused to work the night shifts in fear of seeing a deathly figure wandering the corridors.